welcome back to the unboxers and today we want to share with you something we found super cool it is the DC heroes these are the metals die cast collectible Batman Superman and Wonder Woman check them out these we just found at our local Toys R Us and they are heavy for sure it says caution heavy on the box there so that when you go to pick it up you don't think it's some kind of plastic figure it has some really good weight to this box especially the one with two figures in it so let's go ahead and show you a closer look before we pull these out of the box there they are there's Batman Superman this is um, for the Batman vs Superman movie coming out um, in a short while and let's see on the back look at that look at the symbol I don't know I hadn't seen that before and this set is M9 if you see up here so when you look on the back of the box and it shows you this is the M9 pack and M10 has slightly different color um, that's the black Batman and then Superman is a little more um, is a little bit brighter it looks like oops I need to back that up okay so here's some other ones you can get as single figures and that's M1 2 3 so we have M3 Wonder Woman back there I'll show you and we have the armored Batman the Batman Superman Wonder Woman and armored Batman again so these come as um, individuals but also as packs and if you get the pack whoops they will be uh, they might be in slightly different poses like with their fist up or down and they look super cool can't wait to get these out of the package let's go ahead and give you a closer look at Wonder Woman uh, she is really really well done I like the way she sculpted check out her hair the way it's like flowing to the side there and let's take a look at the back of her box so she has basically all the ones there and it shows you that this is the M9 pack that we have there and she is M3 right there really cool all right so we're gonna go ahead and get these out of the box so we can give you a closer look we'll be right back okay and here they are out of the box we're gonna take a closer look at Superman first of all these are really cool they have a nice weight to them and if you're a collector that likes to keep them in the box the boxes were really nicely really nice to display them in as well so there's Superman he's got his awesome little hairdo there and his angry face with his eyebrows he's got his fists up and you can tell he's got a little uh, little looks like dirt right here so he must have been really in uh, fighting hard got a little dirt right here he's got his looks like a little dirt under here and that's um, that's part of the figure that's kind of how it's supposed to be when he's got his fists up because the arms do not move the hips swivel slightly and this is a, as much movement as you're going to get out of his hips so he can be lead with this foot or lead with this foot that's pretty much what he can do but um, the paint job is really cool. What do you think? Yeah. Really awesome paint job. Love the little little lips that line there. And here's the back of him. His cape is in a whoosh out to the side, which is really cool. Doesn't he usually have an S on his cape too, or is that not not usually? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if they did it in the movie though. Okay, so probably not because he has this great big S on his chest. So there's Superman, and like I said. They have good weight to them. It's really, it's neat to find um, characters and figures and vehicles out of die-cast metal. Because you just don't find that um, as much nowadays. So these are really nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at Wonder Woman. And she has an excellent paint job as well. She's got the uh, muted gold trim headband and her hair. Uh, the detailing in her hair is really, really awesome. Um, she's got her band around her arm and her oh, there's gauntlets. gauntlets excuse me I have the technical term now her skirt is not painted on it's actually like a separate piece her legs also swivel ever so slightly just a little bit and um, she has her sword in her hand her arms don't move um, but she's gonna look at her awesome job on her face it's really cool it's funny looking. because like her eyes like he just has like blue. Yeah, he just had blue eyes. She has a white of her eye. It's more detail to her because she's female, probably. And there you go. And she's got her lasso on the back here. If she's got a hole in the back, I think that's what straps her um, 
whatever this piece is that goes around her, holds her lasso um, into place. Um, but it's not like you can tell that it's there. And um, so here's her boots from the back. They're really cool. And she's got good weight to her as well. And yet she still is able to stand up because she's, um, she's proportionate and she's designed well so she can stand up. And they don't need stands at all. And last but certainly not least, Batman. So here's Batman. And this is the armored Batman. Uh, his arms don't move either, but his waist slightly swivels. Um, these are kind of chibi looking. Yeah. A little bit like, like shrunken superheroes, but yet they're trying to look tough. Um, he's got uh, the white in his Batman eyes there. And his set Batman chin there. Got like a little... And he's got a little battle armor himself. Superman can't be the only one who's gotten dirty. And um, he's got the, the little armored spikes there mm -hmm. on his boots and on his um, arms there. And his cape in the back is super awesome too. It's like a um, more rubbery plastic type. So this is not this. The cape is not metal. So um, or else it'd probably be even heavier. But I love his belt and the detailing on him, and he looks awesome. But if you are a Batman fan, this is just a really awesome thing to have on display. I think he's the perfect size, too. Um, he stands up nice, and he won't fall over, and he's a good weight and good detail. So I'm really impressed with these figures, and obviously the other ones in the set are all going to be the same um, people from the movie, unless they come out with the... Uh, another set but these are the main characters of the movie anyway correct the only one that's different is they have a I mean they have color variations but then they have a Batman that's not armored okay as well that we don't have, that we don't have. that we'll, we'll probably get he comes in a single pack so we'll probably get him as well um, to go along with this set because it's just super awesome um, we're looking forward to the movie coming out and what do you think what's your favorite out of these three um, the, definitely the Batman yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to say, even as much as I, um, I'm not even like, if you know, if you've seen me before, I'm not even like a huge um, fan of the girl superheroes. It's like nothing against them. It's just um, my preference. But um, I thought this Wonder Woman looked really, really awesome. But I have to give it to Batman. His armor just looks really cool. He just looks like somebody took him and shrunk him. <laughs> and um, I just love the weight of these. So let us know if you've seen these before, if you're thinking of getting them, if you're excited about the movie. And thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.